now on WRDE Coast TV. Get ready for a festival in Georgetown that draws thousands every year. The food you can enjoy and music you can dance to tomorrow. Handling natural disasters that strike. How FEMA is preparing older adults for potential hurricanes this season. Dangerous rip currents have come to this area due to Hurricane Lee. Find out what local lifeguards say to do to stay safe in the ocean this weekend. Well, we enjoyed a beautiful evening here along the coast, but dreary weather is on the way to end the weekend. I'll have your beach forecast coming up in just a few moments. From the beaches to the bay, coverage you can count on. WRDE Coast TV, your local news at 11 starts right now. Evening, I'm Britt Leone. Welcome to Coast TV News at 11. We're starting tonight with a Seaford man arrested for multiple drug charges. Police say it was Thursday morning that 41-year-old Eric Davis of Seaford was arrested. They say around 10.30 a.m., the Sussex County Governor's Task Force was conducting patrols near the 22000 block of Neal Road in Lincoln, which was an area known to be frequent for illegal drug activities that Davis partook in. While patrolling the area, detectives saw Davis arriving at an abandoned property and saw what seemed to be several drug deals taking place. The, de the detectives then approached Davis and detained him. During that time, they saw drugs in plain view on the center console of his car. The detectives then obtained a search warrant for his car, the abandoned property, and a camper on the property and found heroin, crack cocaine, over $1,000 in suspected drug dealing proceeds, and drug paraphernalia. If you were looking to have a calm swim in the ocean, well, this week it wasn't happening. Hurricane Lee has brought dangerous rip currents to our area. Coast TV's Carmen Holland shows us what lifeguards say to do to stay safe. Rip currents are nothing to play with. For people that are not experienced swimmers, it's still very dangerous. Little kids could get knocked over and sucked out. This past week, the eastern shore has seen dangerous rip currents due to the aftermath of Hurricane Lee. And people who are at the beach this weekend have taken notice. I was like, no way I'm going out today. <laughs> so they're supposed to be pretty tough. We were actually down here last night too, and they were, the waves were like about seven feet tall. Georgie Gambaroni and her grandkids are at the beach, and she knows what they're not going to do. We know better than to have the kids go out in the water. They can affect anybody, huge people, let alone 40-pound little kids. Cape Henlopen State Park even closed the drive-on ramp due to the high surf. But some people braved the rips today, like Chris Bellino, who says he's dealt with rip currents before. I knew when it was when I was at my limit, and that was after just a couple minutes, and I decided it was time to get out. But it was fun to go in, see what it was like. And lifeguards say if you ever do get caught in a rip current, remember. Remain calm, swim parallel to the shoreline, north or south, um, until you're out of the rip current and then come back in. Although the rip currents aren't gonna be as bad as they were, lifeguards say rip currents are still dangerous and if you're gonna be at the beach tomorrow or throughout the week, be careful, swim with the lifeguard or just don't swim at all. In Rehoboth Beach in Carmen Holland, Coast TV News. Taking a live look now into Ocean City with our Gateway Subaru camera, it looks like a calm and cool evening. Our first alert meteorologist Alex Seymour joins us now with a look at our weather. Good evening, Alex. Good evening, Britt. Well, yeah, we certainly are dealing with some pretty calm conditions, pretty just overall pleasant conditions, fall-like conditions out the door this evening. Temps sitting right around 63 degrees as we take a live look out on our Bordog Plaza Hotel camera in Rehoboth Beach. It's a quiet evening in Rehoboth Beach. Temps all across the region in the 50s and 60s. It is warmer right at the immediate beach towns where we're currently sitting at 63 in Bethany Beach, 68 at the Indian River Inlet. You move a little bit inland and we're down into the 50s already. It's 53 in Selbyville currently, 57 in Georgetown, 56 degrees at Redden State Forest. Those temps going to continue to fall throughout the next couple of hours with these calm winds and just clear skies that we're seeing across Delmarva. So expect to wake up to some pretty cool conditions. If you are heading out early on, especially inland, you may want to grab a light jacket with those temps down into the low to mid 50s tomorrow we start out the day with a bit of sunshine but clouds will be increasing throughout the daytime hour so uv index forecast brought to you by face of grace practice and sun safety uv index of five probably need that sunscreen early on probably not so much as we head later into the daytime hours our beach forecast for tomorrow moderate uv index 
high risk of those rip currents, so that continues. Clouds increase throughout the daytime hours on Aztec Island, with those temps climbing up into the mid to upper 70s. And we're talking about pretty similar conditions in Ocean City, Fenwick Island, and then also into Lewis and Rehoboth Beach, where temps are going to be climbing to near 80. September is National Preparedness Month. FEMA launched the Ready Campaign in 2021 with the goal of raising awareness about how important it is to prepare before disaster strikes. As meteorologist Jeanette Gallardo shows us this year, their campaign is focusing on educating older adults, specifically on hurricane and disaster preparedness. Hurricane Lee is a powerful storm in the Atlantic, sparing our coast from disaster. Lynn Pollock has lived in Rehoboth for the last 20 years. She vividly remembers riding out Hurricane Irene in 2011. That hit us pretty hard, and that's the hurricane that we had down trees and so forth. But So I thought, you know, do I leave? Do I stay? What's going to happen to my house? I, I didn't know, so I decided to clear out some things from my centermost part of my house. And it's people like Pollock who FEMA is hoping to reach. This year, the agency's disaster preparedness campaign is focusing on educating older adults. Pollock says she is always prepared in case another disaster strikes. I always have my prescriptions in a box that's like a month's worth. And I, I do have a list of things that I take into my safe haven closet. And that would be my medications and a flashlight is in there all the time. Emergency officials say that if you use special medical equipment or require specific storage for prescription medication, you should speak to your medical provider to come up with a plan. FEMA officials hope that all Delawareans are ready for any storm. Despite whether or not uh, individuals have uh, a disability, they're in rural locations, if they're urban locations, we want to make sure that everyone, and especially our older individuals, feel comfortable and feel like they know what they can do to empower themselves to best prepare for a storm. Staying on high alert is not a problem for Lynn. I worry about people letting down the guard saying, oh, it's going to miss us because it always does. So I try to keep myself very aware of, of, of that. Luckily, our coast has been spared any direct impacts from tropical systems, including from Hurricane Lee, which, by the way, if you look behind me, those clouds, they belong to the outermost bands of Hurricane Lee. A reminder that danger, it may not always be as far away as we think it is. In Lewis, I'm meteorologist Jeanette Gallardo, Coast TV News. The town of Dewey Beach is warning people to not walk on the dunes. And once you see this photo, you're going to have a better idea of why. Take a look at this. It's provided by Assateague State Park. The town of Dewey says dune grass is critical to holding the dunes in place, connected there to the soil. Walking on the dunes can compromise the dune structure. We're in the midst of Hispanic Heritage Month, and there's a festival tomorrow in Georgetown to celebrate. It's the 26th edition of Festival Hispano this weekend. This year, the state of Delaware is recognizing the Voice Radio Network for organizing the event. Telemundo Del Marva and Coast TV News reporter Ana Sofia Roman shows us the music, food, and fun the community can expect this weekend. Kevin Andrade and his company, The Voice Radio Network, have been organizing the Hispanic Festival for the past 10 years. And this year, a new performance is on the lineup. We have a partnership with the Fremont Arts uh, Pavilion. They normally do uh, the locals under the light in, in, in Selbyville. They've been doing this for 10 years. But they, they called me one day and said, Kevin, can we do a Latino version? I said, well, that would be awesome. Ingrid Carrera, manager at El Primo Taquerias, is excited and ready to share with people their authentic Mexican food once again. We are embracing our culture through food, um, and we love to see all different kinds of people from all different parts of the world come together. And we come together by our food, by our different music. So that feels very nice and we feel very proud. Colombian Barbers opened its doors five years ago, right on the street where the festival is held. We're so uh, excited for this uh, event. It's coming up because it's a once a year. So we, we are waiting all, all, all year to be part of the event. This year, seven international artists and 120 vendors, including two mobile health clinics, will be at the festival. We want to show all the uh, brothers and sisters in the region who we are, you know, what is this being Latino? Um, 
you know, we want you to try the food, we want you to try the, the culture and see our music, our dances, and have fun, you know, just bring your family. Uniting and celebrating the Hispanic culture in our area. The Hispanic Festival will be held here on North Ray Street on Sunday starting at 11 a.m. In Georgetown, Ana Sofia Roman, Coast TV News. The Salisbury University Seagulls had their home opener today, but it didn't go as planned. A tough loss for the Seagulls, dropping them to 1-2 to two on the season. But good news for Salisbury University, they start conference plays next week. Salisbury won the NJAC a season ago and start off with Christopher Newport, a team they beat last year 36-33. to You can see this team in Salisbury next on Saturday, October 7th at 1 p.m. against William Patterson. The, Del the Maryland excuse me, Department of Natural Resources released a new fishing report. The new report says large red drum fish are being spotted on both sides of the bay. Anglers are having success catching bluefish and Spanish mackerel in, by jigging the fish with large soft plastics or spoons. The department says fishing in the upper reaches of the tidal rivers is very good right now and there are a lot of northern snakeheads in the grass beds. Members of the United Auto Workers are walking the picket lines for a second day after walking off the assembly line early Friday. This is the scene earlier today at the Ford Final Assembly and Paint Plant in Wayne, Michigan. UAW members picketing across the street from the plant as they demand better pay and benefits. But so far, they're at an impasse with Ford, General Motors and Chrysler. As both sides head back to the bargaining table today, auto workers say they were out picketing until they get what they deserve. My family, my family, I need, I need the money. I need to be able to provide for my family, have groceries, pay my bills. I could be at home right now, but I'm out here with my brothers and sisters to make sure that we all are taken care of. Yeah. And President Biden says he's sending in top aides to help get negotiations moving. There's more news to cover tonight. This Bay Beach might look serene, but it's not as it seems. The long-term consequences of delayed projects without action. A crash in Georgetown early this morning left this car completely crushed. Where in town police say this happened? And Milford restaurants struggling with dine and dashing. What restaurant owners say about this dilemma? We'll be back in just 60 seconds. Transform your outdoor space with Backyard Works. We are Sussex County's one call for all your fence, deck, handrail, pergolas, shower, and trash enclosure needs. Locally owned and operated, we make all our vinyl and aluminum fence right here in Harbison, Delaware, from American-made manufacturers. Cut out the middleman and deal direct. As a TimberTech Platinum Deck Dealer, our trained team will professionally install your deck that will last a lifetime. Give us a call and let us make your backyard work. Party Decor and More, the store that has all your party supply needs. Festive holiday decor, game day team supplies, balloons that are safe for the sky, announcing a special surprise, and of course, something for every birthday year that flies by. Party Decor and More, the only party store at the beach. Midway Shopping Center in Rehoboth Beach, Delaware. A lot has happened across Delmarva this week. Coast TV News anchor Mallory Metzner gets you up to speed with this week's top stories in our Week in Review. Locals gathered on Monday to remember those lost in the 9-11 attacks on the World Trade Center. An event in Lewis was hosted by a father who lost his son, a New York City firefighter, on that day 22 years ago. Dining and dashing has become a problem in Milford. Some restaurants say not even constant supervision can prevent the crimes, but often they choose not to report them. The first reported human case of the West Nile virus in Maryland appeared on Wednesday. This comes after recent tests on Eastern Shore mosquito pools tested positive for the virus. On Thursday, Hunter Biden, son of President Joe Biden, was indicted on federal firearms charges in Delaware. Court documents claim Hunter Biden lied about his drug addiction when purchasing a gun. 
Paid parking season ended in several coastal towns on Friday, including Rehoboth Beach, Dewey Beach, Bethany Beach, and Fenwick Island. Some places, however, like Lewis and Ocean City, have paid parking for a few weeks longer. For your Weekend Review, I'm Mallory Metzner. Police are investigating a crash in Georgetown that happened early this morning at 1 a.m. Take a look at this photo from the Georgetown Fire Company. You can see the front of this car just completely crushed. The fire company says this is the result of an accident that happened at the intersection of Governor Stockley Road and Cedar Lane after the car crashed into a telephone pole. It's not clear right now the condition of the driver or if there were any passengers in the car. Coming up on Coast TV News at 11, this Bay Beach looks calm now, but it's not really. The long-term consequences of delayed projects without action. Well, dreary weather is on the way to end the weekend and start next week. I'll let you know just how much rain we can expect coming up just after the break. Popeye's new sweet and spicy wings are perfectly sweet and wonderfully spicy. Just like my Nana. These are delicious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's why I know you didn't make them. <laughs> we don't make sense. We make chicken. Love that chicken from Popeyes. When you visit the Delmarva Design Center, you'll experience a selection of appliances, cabinetry, countertops, tile, and flooring all together in one showroom. The 10,000 square foot location has a variety of inspiring samples for any project size or budget. Your dedicated product experts and designers collaborate to bring your dream project to life. Come and see what the kitchen industry buzz is all about. Experience the Delmarva Design Center in Selbyville, Delaware, serving all of Delmarva's coast. Before you celebrate your new home, protect your surfaces with HydroShield. HydroShield prevents unwanted stains from penetrating the surfaces in your home. Our eco-friendly formulas eliminate the need for toxic chemicals, protecting you and your family. You paid good money for your surfaces. Protect them with HydroShield. Call today for your free total home protection estimate. And relax, we have you covered. Learn more about our total home protection at HydroShieldDelmarva.com. Building a portfolio that gives you opportunities to grow your savings can be a challenge. Our team at Rosemont Wealth Management takes this challenge seriously. Contact us and we can work together on a comprehensive game plan that truly embodies your personal values and life objectives. Our focus is on what is important to you, your family, your lifestyle, your life events, so that you can maintain your lifestyle all the way through retirement. At Rosemont Wealth Management, we serve first, last, and always. Coverage on the road, in your community, along the coast. The IG Burton First Alert Weather Jeep, live on the street, day or night. From breaking news to weather in your town, the IG Burton First Alert Weather Jeep. Coverage you can count. Well, it's a pleasant fall evening across Delmarva as they take a live look out on our Gateway Subaru camera at the Commander Hotel at this hour. Looking pretty quiet in Ocean City right now. Temp sitting right around 67 degrees in OC. It is a bit cooler as you move just a little bit inland as you get probably about a mile or two away from the Atlantic. Those temps, they certainly start to plunge. We're down to 53 degrees in Selbyville this evening. We're down to 59 in Lewis. 57 degrees in Georgetown. These temps are going to continue to fall over the next couple of hours. We'll remain in the 60s right at the beaches, though. Currently 6, 63 in Rehoboth Beach, 63 degrees in Bethany Beach. So tomorrow morning, if you wake up early, you head out the door around 7, maybe 8 a.m., you may want to grab a light jacket, especially if you live across those inland locations because those temps are going to continue to fall. So some of us are going to be waking up to those morning lows in the low 50s. Winds. Calm, skies are clear, so that's just helping those temperatures to continue to fall throughout the overnight hours. Clouds, though, will start to increase tomorrow. We have a lot of unsettled weather off to our west. That all is going to work its way through the region as we head towards tomorrow afternoon and evening, and then really into the overnight hours heading into early Monday morning. We can see that on our future cast. We stay pretty dry. We stay pretty quiet through the first half of the day on Sunday. Sunday, by the lunchtime hour, take a look at this. Sunshine, temps close to 80 degrees, it's looking gorgeous out there. But as we progress throughout the afternoon hours, those clouds start to thicken up, and we may even start to see a few showers start to pop up as we head towards that 4 to 5 o'clock hour. Those showers, they become a bit more widespread. Later into the evening hours, it's 10.30 Sunday night. 
we can see much more widespread rain still not heavy that's likely going to occur once we get past midnight we're going to see some heavier areas of rain you see that yellow and orange shading even some red shading off our immediate coastline we're going to continue to see that through the morning commute on monday before it clears out monday afternoon this is three o'clock the rain is gone clouds are starting to fall apart and we may see a bit of sunshine by monday afternoon but we got to get through about a good 12 to 18 hour period where we're going to deal with those showers which could be heavy at times we stay dry heading in tuesday rainfall totals well a good half an inch to an inch so a good soaking rain is on the way for the area over the next 24 to 48 hours i would not be surprised if some localized areas see those rainfall totals surpass an inch so don't be surprised to run into a bit of that ponding of water on those area roadways for that monday morning commute so with the rain with the clouds increase in the next couple of days our uv index forecast brought to you by face of grace practice and sun safety only a four or five sunday monday not anything too bad and then back up to six tuesday wednesday and thursday the reason for that is well, the sunshine is going to be returning. Our Paul Davis restoration and home remodeling seven-day forecast shows once we get past the wet weather of the next couple of days, Tuesday through Friday is dry, but more rain arrives by next weekend. Thank you, Thank Alex. You. A reminder, you can hear Coast TV news and weather updates throughout the day on our family of radio stations. That's Coast Country 103.9 and 106.3 FM on 93.5 The Beach and on Big 107.7. An organization that advocates for Delaware's Bay Beaches is putting pressure on DENREC and the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers to start coastal resiliency projects that opened up in the Water Resources De Development Act of 2022. Coast TV News reporter Heidi Kirk shows us how initial excitement about WRDA has turned to frustration. A shrinking beach and eroding dunes. Michael Pendleton bikes down to these bay beaches daily. He's seen them for better and for worse. If you don't maintain anything like that, you're going to lose the dunes. And it's going to be clear up onto the roads and it will uh, pretty soon lose be underwater. The Water Resources Development Act, better known as WERDA, aims to prevent these problems by authorizing beach replenishment on the bay beaches and projects that plan for disasters along the coast. The Bay Beach Association says it's seen no action since WERDA was passed in December. We are found ourselves in a position of we're waiting for answers, we're waiting for progress. The association is putting pressure on DENREC and the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers to get the job done after a long wait. Coast TV News reached out to both DENREC and the U.S. Army Corps and they said there are some things going on behind the scenes that you might not be aware of. They're currently working on an agreement that will allow them to proceed with beach replenishment here on some of the Bay Beaches. But at this time, there's no timeline set for when that will happen. Brad says time is ticking as he fears the beach won't be able to handle another battering. Waiting through another whole storm season and waiting for relief next year. We're looking at a very problematic beach here in Lewis right now. Uh, Kitts Hummock and Pickering Beach. There is uh, locations there where there's zero beach in front of the houses, waters under the houses almost daily. A project some say is on a timeline with real life impacts on our coast. I'm Heidi Kirk in Lewis, Coast TV News. After the break here on Coast TV News at 11, progress on the traffic light at Minos Conaway Road and Route 9 is moving along. What Del Dot says this means for drivers like you, we'll be right back after this break. Now at Hardee's, two hand-breaded chicken tender wraps are only $5. Choose one of five flavors for endless combinations, including new Nashville Hot. Two wraps, just $5. Hardee's, goodness in the making. Get exclusive offers on the Hardee's app. All the natural light of the great outdoors. Right in your dining room. Shell Brothers, find your great indoors. All the solitude of the outdoors, without the bad Wi-Fi connection. Shell Brothers, find your great indoors. We just bought our first home. Sure, there's a lot to fix and money's tight, but thanks to my husband, we're keeping our spirits high and all our costs low. Because with him, the glass is always half full, Babe, got it. even if it's leaking. You're always there for them. 
And we're always here for you. Food Lion, here for every moment. Ever have a day that just couldn't get any worse? Meet Tyler, the champion of chaos. Having a day that's gone from bad to worse. When life throws you a string of unfortunate events, the law office of Trap Nickel is here to provide a helping hand. Our experienced workers' compensation team is here to fight for your rights and help shape your misfortune into meaningful compensation. If you've been injured at work, don't wait. Get the justice you deserve. The law office of Trap Nickel. Your priority is our priority. Make dinner good tonight with Hardy's new chicken tender platters. Crunchy, juicy tenders all dipped in buttermilk and hand breaded. With a thick slice of garlicky Texas toast, seasoned crinkle fries, slaw, and choice of sauce. Hardy's goodness in the making. Progress on the traffic light at Minos Conaway Road and Route 9 is moving along. The traffic light is coming after a lot of crashes and concerns of safety from neighbors has been voiced. DelDot says there will be minor delays and lane closures coming up as construction winds down, but the light is needed. We've unfortunately had a number of crashes there over the, the past several years, uh, some fatally, sadly. And, you know, just the time has come to put a put a signal here due to the, the high traffic volume that we continue to see on these roads. The project is expected to wrap up by mid-October. We'll be right back after this break. Dive into Ocean Downs on September 23rd for the inaugural Turf by the Surf State Cook-Off. Dance to NRW, DSB, and Jack Russell's Great White. $40 ticket includes all shows. Doors open at noon. Join us at Ocean Downs Casino. Visit OceanDowns.com for tickets and info. The Queen approaches. The termite queen can lay between 20 and 30,000 eggs a day and can live for 50 years. And those millions of termites can eat over $5 billion a year in damage. Take your home off the menu with termite protection by Brazier's Pest Control. The experts at Brazier's use over 40 years experience to administer the best protection in America. Six times faster than baits with long lasting protection. Call Brazier's now and defend your castle. Transform your outdoor space with Backyard Works. We are Sussex County's one call for all your fence, deck, handrail, pergolas, shower and trash enclosure needs. Locally owned and operated, we make all our vinyl and aluminum fence right here in Harbison, Delaware from American-made manufacturers. Cut out the middleman and deal direct. As a TimberTech Platinum Deck Dealer, our trained team will professionally install your deck that will last a lifetime. Give us a call and let us make your backyard work. Our goal at Expert Wire is to safely provide a wide range of quality electrical services. Our happiness guarantees ensure the highest standard of excellence. Guarantees like upfront pricing, five-star team, one-year risk-free, property protection, and your happiness guaranteed. Full details online at expertwire247.com or call Expert Wire at 844-350-WIRE. Remember, leave the wiring to the experts and make it a powerful day. 10, 9, 8, 8 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, Enjoy 10 songs in a row, brought to you by Pohanka of Salisbury. Well, still looking pretty enjoyable outside this evening as we take a live look out on our dry tech camera at the Ember Center in Ocean City. Temp sitting right around 68 degrees in OC this evening. It is a bit cooler though inland, so if you are heading out early on, expect to wake up to those morning temps down into the 50s. So maybe grab a light jacket if you do head out early on before about 7 to 8 a.m. But those temps warm up nicely during the afternoon hours. Our fish can forecast shows temps climbing up into the low 80s Sunday afternoon. Get outside and enjoy it before the clouds really start to increase Sunday afternoon into the evening hours and so then the showers start to move in. That wet weather, that is going to continue into early, at least the first half of the day on Monday, half an inch to an inch of rain with some locally higher amounts are expected. Then we dry out Tuesday through Friday before, well, unfortunately, it looks like we're going to see more rain move in for next weekend. Thank you for joining us here for Coast TV News at 11. For more news and local weather, download our Coast TV News app. Saturday Night Live starts right now. Have a fantastic night.